Hey guys, I got another update today. Um, things are actually making a little bit more sense than I did uh, yesterday. So we were crashing the NABU yesterday and that was not a good thing. It wasn't because we were sending it a program. It turns out, from what I understand, I was sending too many commands and it was causing the BIOS just to decide to screw up. So, hold on, let me just turn my music down here. These videos are so low budget compared to some of the stuff that I watch online that you guys are all making. Um, hold on here. Some people are asking what kind of music I listen to, where I get it from. So, YouTube, and there we go. Okay, so let me first run the program and show you where we're at right now. And then I'll talk a little bit about what it's doing. Okay, so let's reset this guy. And we're gonna select a file that I have here. Now, I'll get into a little bit about this file here first. So, this file was provided to me from the, the York University guys. Um, and for, they thought maybe it was gonna work. Unfortunately, I think that it's been a while since they've uh, looked at their code. So they might have forgotten a few things, but the header is what I'm struggling with. So the, the, these are the, this is the definition. So let me show you the definition of the files. I'm gonna put this all on GitHub um, pretty soon here, but. Okay, so here's, here's our definition for the, uh, for the header, okay? So I've had to edit this because what, what was sent to me originally was incorrect. Um, essentially, the, the few things that were wrong were the segments. Um, a lot of the stuff that's incorrect in the files I'm getting here is these tier values, as well as this difference between a segment and a packet. So this is the pack file that's loading at the point, and I'm able to verify its checksum and everything because I had to alter the file for that to happen. So at this point, from what I have as a header definition, I believe the header is incorrect because we'll see, I'll show you what's happening. The, uh, the NABU, when it receives the file, I guess we waited too long for that one. Let's run it again. There we go. So we're sending the file here now. Um, what was happening yesterday when I sent the video is there is a 0x10 that is the uh, data line terminator and it escapes the upload process into communication mode. So you have to escape any instance of 0x10 in your upload. And I wasn't doing that yesterday. So that was what was crashing it. So now we uploaded the file. Now what's interesting is that the file said it was uploaded, but it responded and said, give it to me again. Okay, so it's asking for the same segment a second time. It will do this infinite number of times, which is leading me to believe that one of two things is incorrect. The CRC calculation is being done incorrectly, which I'm not confident on that one yet, but it could go hand in hand with the header because maybe I'm calculating too much of the header in the CRC, but I think the header is also incorrect. So um, I'm able to actually, from what I understand, this file is getting received by the NABU. It's just not executing it because the header is incorrect. So Yun, Univer or Yun uh, York University is going to get back to me hopefully soon, and we're going to see if we can get a file from them because that will be enough and then we should be able to understand how to transmit a file once we can do that we can put cpm on here we can do we can write our own programs we connect these things to the internet and download programs because that's what they're designed for right so i'm pretty excited about that it should be a lot of fun in the meantime i do have something fun to show you i was going through some more videos and discussions about the floppy drive controllers and stuff Check this out. So these are some videos of uh, some floppy drive controllers, some memory controllers. This was a, that was a hard drive controller. And this is a floppy disk controller, I believe. I can't believe I threw all this stuff out. <laughs> you know, like, what was I thinking? 
I guess at the time it was, uh, you know, you have a death in the family and you, uh, you just respond to whatever is happening, right? Here's, yeah, this is a, uh, so this brand here, this company, let me see if I can pause it. I don't know how to, come on, Microsoft. Make Windows Media Player a little easier to use here. There we go. So this company here, um, Andycom, they worked a lot with, uh, with Nabu. So a lot of the hardware came from these guys. I think it was because they did the 1100 prior to the uh, Nabu that we're all, all playing with at this point. So these are some of the different controllers. At least I was smart enough to make videos of stuff before I threw it out, right? Okay, here's a, what's this one? Is this Western Digital? Oh no, this is another, another Andy Comb. Uh, what else we have here? This looks like a lot of video. Oh, here's a hard disk controller. An HTC FD controller. No, it's not, it's a floppy disk controller. Let's take a look at that again. Huh. Yeah, so this would have been the floppy disk controller for the NABU. So this ribbon here would have connected to the inside of the, the NABU. Uh, there's a pin in there. I think it's 30 pins or 32 pins or something. And you'll see that in Adrian's basement video. And then this here would stick out the back, I believe. And then this would give you your... Uh, your connection to your floppy disk externally, floppy drive. And, ooh, look at this. I have no idea what this is. That didn't look like uh, anything NABU related. PWA keyboard display interface. Hmm. Interesting. Wish I still had some of this stuff because I'm sure that somebody like Adrian's basement or Ben Hack or somebody would have just like dove into these things and found out what they were. Um, yeah. So anyway, what's kind of funny the whole time we've been chatting here, look, it's still uploading and continually sending the same file. So at this point, all we need to do is get a file that works. Then I can reverse engineer the head, the header, and then we can figure out um, how to upload it, then we can compile our own programs, and then once we can do that, then we can modify CPM and we can start firing that up and we make this thing work. So, um, I can show you some input and output with this thing. Here, this will be actually kind of neat. So I can, the way the communication between the uh, NABU and the network adapter works too is there's a timeout. So without having to restart the NABU right now, even though it says adapter failure mode, I can rerun the program And I can select my file. And this time I'm gonna say prompt for a channel. And if I say connect, even though it was already in an upload state, it will still allow me to interact with it. So now it asks for a channel code. So I can type in a number, but it's gonna always say retype in, retype in. So if I hit 0000, I get my channel code. And you can see it by file somewhere up here. Here we go here, where I received the channel code. So there's a different conversation that occurs based upon the, uh, the protocol. And again, we'll put all this stuff on GitHub, but here's the communication protocol at this point. Um, you guys can play with this a little bit, see what you can do with it. And pause on that, on that screen and then edit it up. Okay, I will uh, see you guys in the next update.